Future Card Buddy Fight is a game where you, the buddy fighter, fight alongside your chosen buddy monster against an opponent. Let me introduce the rules and flow of a buddy fight so that you can start playing too. First up, fight preparations. Let's prepare our buddy monster, flag card, deck, and life counter. You can choose any monster you like as your buddy monster. Your buddy is not part of your deck. Let's put down our flag card after choosing our buddy. We'll use a flag card with the same world your buddy is from. Let's prepare a deck to use in the fight. A deck consists of at least 50 cards. However, you may only have a maximum of four copies of each card in your deck, so be careful. Let's look at the different types of cards. There's the monster card, which can attack your opponent and their monsters. The item card, which a fighter can equip as a weapon and attack their opponent. The spell card, which provides support in your fights. It's also important to have impact cards and impact monster cards, which have powerful effects that turn the tides of battle. That's it for the preparations. Let's get on with the fight. First, let's put our chosen flag card in the flag slash item zone. And our buddy monster in the buddy zone face down. After shuffling your opponent's deck, place your deck in the deck zone. Draw six cards from your deck into your hand. Then place the top two cards of your deck into the gauge zone with the cards facing down. Now play a game of rock, paper, scissors. The winner goes first. Each fighter starts with 10 life, and the fighter that reduces his opponent's life to zero first will be the winner. When starting the fight, we turn our flag card and buddy over and shout, Buddy fight! Raise the flag! First fighter's first turn. Start phase. First draw a card from your deck. Now we're gonna charge and draw. Put a card you don't need from your hand into your gauge and draw another card from your deck. Main phase. Let's call a monster. We'll pay the cost and call Guards Your Dragon Canton to the center. Let's look at the call cost written on the card. The call cost is the condition that must be fulfilled in order for the monster to enter the field. This card's call cost is one gauge and you have to put the top card of your deck into its soul. First, let's put a card from our gauge into our drop zone and put a card from the top of our deck below Guards Your Dragon Canton. Soul in. This is what we call Soul Guard. If Guards Your Dragon Canton has to leave the field, it can remain on the field by placing its Soul Card into the drop zone. Attack phase. Let's attack our opponent. By resting our cards, we can attack. When we attack our opponent, we reduce our opponent's life by the critical of that card. However, the first fighter may only attack once on their first turn, so the first fighter's turn ends here. Now it's the second fighter's first turn. Start phase. First draw, then charge and draw. Main phase. We call Laufen Guard Dragon to the right. Next, we call Dolce Guardra to the left. Let's look at the number written on the top left corner of the card. This is the monster's size. We can call monsters up to a total size of three. And since the size of Lelf and Guard Dragon is two and the size for Dolce Gardra is one, the total size of the monsters on our field is three. With that, we're done calling monsters. Now we equip Deity Dragon Sword Guard Dagger. By placing an item card on top of the flag card, the fighter can equip an item and join the fight himself. The item does not add to the total size of monsters called on the field. However, if a monster is on our center, we won't be able to attack with our item. Due to us having an item equipped, Laufen Guard Dragon uses its own ability to increase its power and defense by 2,000. Plus, the ability of Deity Dragon Sword Guard Dagger gives us one gauge and one life. Attack phase. If the opponent has a monster on their center, we can't attack the opponent. That's why we'll use Laufen to destroy their center monster, Canton. Attack Canton with Laufen. If the attacking monster's power is equal or higher than the defending monster's defense, the defending monster will be destroyed. And now, Canton's Soul Guard. By putting its Soul Card in the drop zone, it remains on the field. Next, Dolce's attack. However, that monster's defense is too high. The attack won't break through. For times like this, we can choose two or more cards in our field to do a link attack. Combine the power of the two cards and attack. 
the combined power of Dolce and Guard Dagger adds up to 7,000. Link Attack Canton! The attack hits! Since we have no more cards to attack with, we'll end our turn. First Fighter's second turn. Start phase. Draw, charge, and draw. Main phase. We call Seer Dragon Cautus to the right and Seer Fight Dragon Sinister to the left. We pay one life and equip the item Seer Tool Star Pendulum. We also pay the call cost and call Rainbow Wings Cross Astrologia to the center. As Rainbow Wings Cross Astrologia is our buddy, we can buddy call. Let's put Cross from our hand into the buddy zone in the rest position and put the card in the buddy zone out onto the field. When we do a buddy call, we gain one life from buddy gift. However, we can only buddy call once per game. Now our galaxy formation is complete. Attack phase. Let's take a look at the abilities of Laufen on the second fighter's field. Move allows the fighter to move it to an empty area at the start of both fighters' attack phase. The second fighter moves Laufen from the right to the center to block the direct attacks of the first fighter. Attack Laufen with Sinister. Sinister's abilities activate. If Sinister is on the left when it attacks, we can destroy the opponent's monster. We destroy Dolce with the ability and destroy Laufen with the attack. Now the second fighter's center is opened. Attack the fighter with Cautus and attack the fighter with Star Pendulum. The ability of Star Pendulum allows you to attack, even if you have a monster on your center. Next, attack the fighter again with Cross. Cards normally can only attack once. However, Rainbow Wings Cross Astrologia has the double attack ability, which allows it to attack twice. Rainbow Wings Cross Astrologia's double attack. Attack the fighter. Now let's look at the second fighter's spell card, Deity Green Dragon Shield. Counter is written there. Cards with counter can be used during the opponent's turn. The Deity Green Dragon Shield is a spell that nullifies our opponent's attack and gain three life when we have no monsters on the center and we have a Deity Dragon Tribe on the field. When we want to use spell cards, we say, I cast Deity Green Dragon Shield. With this, we block the attack from Cross. Second fighter's second turn. Start phase. Draw, charge, and draw. Main phase. We call Dagon Gardra to the left from our hand and also buddy call Awaken DD Gargantua Dragon to the right. We gain one life thanks to Buddy Gift. Attack phase. We link attack Cross with Dagon and Guard Dagger. Cross remains on the field due to its soul guard. Dagon Gardra stands due to double attack. Next, attack Cross with Gargantua Dragon. First fighter casts. Nullify the attack with Mars Barrier. We activate Garga's G Evo ability. We call Gargantua Dragon Slash Mode from our hand. Its own ability gives it double attack and also stands our item. We attack Cross with Gargantua Dragon Slash Mode. First fighter casts Mars Barrier. We use Gargantua Dragon Slash Mode's double attack to attack Cross. And it goes through. Let's look at the card's ability over here. Penetrate is written on it. Penetrate is the ability to deal damage to your opponent when their center monster is destroyed by that card's attack. The critical of Gargantua Dragon Slash Mode is three. It destroys the center monster and deals three damage to the opponent. Attack the fighter with Dagon and Guard Dagger, one by one. The first fighter is left with four life. However, the second fighter has no more cards in the field that can attack. But wait, let's look at our hand. In our hand, we have Gargaraid Punisher that we drew earlier. It's an impact card that we can use during the final phase. We can only use this card if our opponent has four life or less and we have a Deity Dragon Tribe card on the field. All conditions are fulfilled. Let's declare final phase and activate Gargaraid Punisher. Final phase, I cast Gargaraid Punisher. We pay three gauge and deal four damage to our opponent. The first fighter's life is zero. The second fighter wins. That's the end of the buddy fight tutorial. Wasn't it fun? And that's just the beginning. There are tons of other cool cards left to discover. Now you could build your own unique deck and win with your buddy.